Hey guys, what is up? Time to review Action Comics issue 14 and 15. A bit behind on these, I know. Trying to get some more out. Uh, so I'll keep it short and simple. It's Grant Morrison doing what Morrison does great, which is writing about pretty much the time continuum and the fifth dimension and its effects on Superman and its current cast of characters, which... I've heard some really negative reviews on, but I am still really enjoying it. I can see why people wouldn't like this. This isn't the typical Superman tale. This isn't the typical uh, Clark Kent tale. It has elements from the from a normal Superman story, kind of infused in a, of course, Morrison uh, odd kind of world, which, as I've made incredibly clear throughout my YouTube presence, that I'm a huge Grant Morrison fan, so of course I like it. And uh, actually, to be honest, reading issue 14, it's mul about the uh, multitude. And I, uh, at first, I didn't really like it until I read issue 15. Reading them together, I really enjoy them. And I really enjoy the story that's coming together. Of course, I am worried that because Morrison is leaving pretty soon, I am worried about how this whole thing will wrap up. Because the closer we get to... Uh, Morrison leaving Action Comics instead of us getting more answers and it winding down and becoming more more complete and cohesive, it seems like he keeps on expanding and adding more questions to the mix, uh, which maybe Morrison can pull it out and it will be incredible, and I'm really hoping it is. But for now, I'm just enjoying the ride and really eager to see where it goes. So I'm going to give him a combined score of 8 out of 10, and I will see you guys in another review, hopefully pretty soon.